working out with these ball hog gloves is changing everything, the whole dynamic of the workout. It takes away your grip. So the ball slips out of your hands. You really gotta be able to control the ball. For quality basketball training products, go ahead and log on to ballhoggloves.com. God first, work until. All right, to Jimmy Butler, who's arriving at the podium. Jimmy, what made such a dramatic difference between games one and two? To you, what was the biggest difference? Um, they, they made shots that they missed last game. That's just what it is. It's going to be hard to beat anybody when they shoot 50% from the field and 50% from the three. Uh, they were the more physical team overall, and um, they got one on the road. Uh, J Jimmy, obviously in your playoff career, you've been through wins and losses of, of all kinds. Um, a game like this, the guys, Gabe and Bam, just said you kind of, it's one. You know, you kind of, how do you, do you just move on from it? You toss out the tape or you, you kind of just, or do you try to learn as much as you can from it before you move on to game three? I mean, yeah, you do got to move on. Um, I don't like to move on from this because I, I it, it has to hurt. Um, they tried to embarrass us. They did embarrass us. So I, I think we got to realize that, um, use it as fuel, whatever you want to say, but realize that the game can get out of hand whenever you're playing against a really good team like them that can score the ball and get stops. Um, so overall, we just have to be better. Um, we got a tough job to do to go over there and win, but uh, if they did it, we can do it as well. Jimmy, obviously you're scoring in this series, but you're having to work really hard to get to get th those numbers. As a team, what is not there for you guys right now offensively? Uh, I mean, I think I got to do a, a better job of getting everybody else involved, if I'm being brutally honest. I got to find that, that fine medium, that fine line in between when to be aggressive and when to make sure that I can get guys open. And, you know, I got to basically do Kyle's job and make sure guys are in spots where they can be comfortable and be the most successful. Um, th that's on me. I don't think that's on Spo. I don't think that's on Bam. I think it's my job because I got the ball a lot of the times to make sure that everybody's comfortable and getting the shots that they need to have. Because we've just been kind of saying that you've been doing both roles for most of the playoffs because Kyle's been out. Do you think you got away from that tonight? Uh, yeah, I think I got uh, a, a bit selfish on the offensive end. Uh, and I, I got to look to to use my teammates. They've been there for me all year long. And I got to get back to that um, because whenever they're scoring, whenever they're aggressive, we're a much better team. Jimmy, you had mentioned after, you know, to piggyback on that, you had mentioned after games three and four in Philly that you wanted to, to pass more. Is, are they taking away your your playmaking angles the same way Philly was, or is Boston doing something different? Uh, no, nah, I just got to set better screens, um, attack more, touch the paint, and uh, look to kick the ball out, even sometimes whenever I do have a layup, um, just because that is the right basketball play, and somebody's more than often going to be open. Uh, that, that's on me, and I, I'll watch the film, and I, I promise you I will figure it out, but I'll, I'll get these guys open. Jimmy, this has always been a confident group since you've been here, but when you do get embarrassed like this in a game, how confident are you that this group, with the injuries that you are dealing with right now, can respond the way you want moving forward? I look at it as it, it can get too much worse. You know, they whipped our tail on our home floor. Um, I guess if they do it on their home floor, it's supposed to happen. But I don't, I don't see us doing that again. Um, I mean, the the first half has has been brutal for us in, in both of these games. We just gotta we gotta come out and and, and play harder from the jump and be ready because they'd be throwing some haymakers in the first half. Obviously, they shot lights out, but were there times tonight where the, your defense as a group bothered you in terms of not uh, in terms of giving Boston too much airspace on on threes and other shots? Yeah, I mean, they got to the free throw line. Yep, they 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 made threes. They got to the paint, got layups. They got out in transition. They got offensive rebounds. They they was doing everything um, that we pride ourselves on, actually. Um, but that's what you get whenever you're playing against a really good team. Um, they've been playing that way for a very long time. Um, so I think overall, we've seen it before. We damn sure saw it tonight. So if we don't want it to happen again, we better fix it. Hey, Jimmy. So tonight, the Celtics with Horford and Smart back on the floor, we're switching a lot more than they did in game one. Was that something that you think 
disrupted you guys' offense, or was it more about not getting enough consistent stops on defense? For sure, all about stops. Uh, how many times we shoot the ball? We shot the ball more than they did. Um, we just didn't make shots. It's part of the game, but we damn sure didn't guard anybody. And when we don't do that, that's a trend all year long. Um, when we're not making shots, we're not guarding anybody. So we need to fix that once again. When we worry about defense first, the offense will come. Jimmy Marcus uh, just spoke in the other room, and speaking is a sign of respect towards you. He called you a warrior, said he loves to play against you anytime he can. For him to come out after missing the first game with a, a bad foot and, and have the impact that he did, what does that say of, about him? Uh, look, he's, he's key to what they do over there um, on both sides of the floor, actually, and for sure when he's making shots. But um, as a defensive player of the year, um, night in, night out, taking that matchup and being able to play on both sides of the ball, that's, um, that's crucial for them. Um, he was a big part of them winning this game tonight, along with Al Horford. Um, obviously, JT and, and JB do what they do. But um, they came out and, and, and wheeled that organization, that team, to a dub. So you got to respect him and what he does. Did you get a chance to talk to PJ, and are you worried he might be out for a little bit? Uh, I did. Um, I think he'll be all right, you know. Marcus said, I'm a warrior, so is he. So, you know, if, if he's not ready to go, though, um, everybody else has to be ready to go. And those are some even bigger shoes to have to fill because he does it on the defensive end. We're capable of it, though. All right, Jimmy, thank you.